Listen, uh, <clears throat> your brother clearly needs some help, and I need money. Uh, Tiny Ray beat you in chess again, huh? Oh, I'm down big. Who, who's Tiny Ray? Plus, my girlfriend's ex bought her a $9,000 handbag. Been there. Currently there. Who is Tiny Ray, though? Okay, well, listen, if I helps you get Dookie Wellington from Danger Force, will you guys give me a taste of that sweet, sweet reward money? I don't see why not. Shoot him, yeah. Ray. That was a scene from Nickelodeon's hit show, Danger Force, starring our next guest, actor and person of trans experience, Michael D. Cohen. Michael, thank you so much for joining us here on Live in the Bay. Oh, thanks so much for having me. It's a pleasure. Yes, of course. Now, we can't get into it without first touching on your role in Danger Force and Henry Danger. Michael, what has it been like for you to play these roles and these characters in these Nickelodeon shows? Oh, it's been so much fun. I mean, <clears throat> you know, and people are listening to me going, where's your accent? You know, <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's uh, you know, which one is real? Um, but it's it's really fun. It's fun to do a character that is is just so out there. And um, the writing on the show is amazing. And, you know, it, it it's an it's a really it's a great opportunity to be on a show where um, it's just as fun for kids as it is for adults. Well, speaking of Nickelodeon, Michael, you are also partnered with them for an acting challenge. Can you tell me a little bit about that and why it was so important for you to partner with Nickelodeon? Well, we did this um, a couple of years ago when, you know, things have things have gotten even more intense but at the time I was seeing that there was a lot of misunderstanding about what it means uh, for a young person uh, to have a trans experience and um, I know for myself growing up uh, I wanted I wanted to give these kids something that I never had which was mentorship training and also the acknowledgement from a major network like Nickelodeon saying hey we value you we see you you're worth it we want to we want to include you and uh, that's why I wanted to create this partnership and it was all uh, trans kids and they were all interested in acting and they submitted tapes and we did a, a master class and we did webinars and helped them uh, you know just basically develop their skills and it was incredible we, we found some amazing talent who are working today well, it really is incredible what you are doing in terms of just bringing recognition to the trans community and really just allowing those resources, these children to have these resources, like you mentioned. And as a person of trans experience and an advocate for the LGBTQ plus community, what else are you doing ahead of Pride Month in June? Oh, um, well, there's a, a lot of uh, events and also trying to get the word out around, you know, what is happening right now with regards to this backlash. Um, you know, for people that aren't really educated about this topic, I really want to encourage you all to really go out and research because uh, the laws that are being made are really based on complete misinformation. And for those that are older, it's with uh, any intervention that they do get uh, is with an extreme amount of uh, consulting with doctors and specialists in this area. Uh, I know what it means to have been a kid that was born in the wrong body um, and how difficult and absolutely painful and life-threatening that actually is. And so I think this needs to be taken very seriously. I think the backlash is, is really, really... Uh, uh, tragic and uh, that people need to educate themselves. So that's what I'm doing uh, this month and, and head of Pride Month. Well, thank you so much, Michael, for everything you are doing for advocacy. And when it comes to more things that you're working on for your career, what else can people expect to see from you, especially here in the Bay Area? Uh, well, coming up, uh, I have a, a short film that I was in uh, that is going to be a frame line on uh, June 18th, I believe, in the morning. So that's going to be screening there. Um, and I'm also I'm working on a solo show uh, that was formerly called uh, Four Cubits Make a Man. It's now called Man Interrupted. So hoping to launch that uh, in the next few months. And uh, now that there's a strike, <laughs> it's hard to say. Yeah, but that's I know true. That I know it's like you know I have a few series that I'm writing and and developing and I've been directing and and all of that um but you know everything's kind of on hold until we get these things ironed out and uh, hopefully they'll get ironed out very soon yeah I agree I, I'm always we're always hoping that things get ironed out soon but that's very exciting that you're coming here to the Bay Area in June I know a lot of people are going to be looking forward to that but what other pieces of your career would you say that are very notable at this moment or that you're excited about that people can go check out uh, 
well, you know, there's, <laughs> it's like, well, there's Danger Force, uh, that's on TV, um, and Henry Danger and all of those, uh, you know, all those episodes that we started doing back as, as I guess, almost a decade ago are now coming on uh, Netflix and Paramount Plus. Um, there's some, I believe, on Hulu, Amazon Prime. So you can just go and look on the streamers and, and find find those. And uh, and I will be uh, directing a, a show that I have written that I'm hoping will get up very soon. Again, we're waiting for the strike, but you can look for that. Um, I can't really say much more about that, unfortunately. Um, but those are the big things. Well, we are excited to check out all of your work. And Michael, thank you so much for joining us here today on Live in the Bay. It was a pleasure. Thank you so much for having me. Of course.